Right guys, we're going to benchmark the sequential read and write of the dual drive hard drive by Western Digital and then the Samsung 840 Pro SSD. See what sort of speed we get between the two drives. As you can see, we're currently connected to the Western Digital Black 2 dual drive system, which is a terabyte hard drive with a 120 gig SSD attached to it. We're booted from the 128 gig SSD and let's run the benchmark. So we've got for right, we're averaging a speed of 134 megabytes per second. And then for reads, you've got 390. That's not bad. Well, I've been waiting about half an hour now for this to finish, and this is the result we've been given. So I'm going to go with that and say that is the score that this drive has achieved. We're going to do a winner's boot up speed now. We'll use a stopwatch to time the amount of time it takes to do that. All right, guys, so we're doing a boot up speed. Okay. As soon as we see that Windows logo. Six seconds, boys and girls. Six seconds to boot into Windows from the Western Digital Black 2 dual drive SSD and one terabyte. So impressions of the dual drive system. I'm actually quite impressed with it, to be fair. I mean, it's a pretty quick, snappy, impressive system to use. I mean, it's responsive, it works really well. Um, it seems to be equally as quick as uh, an SSD in actual practical use. Um, let's go and open, I don't know, Word 2013. As you can see, very snappy, very quick. It gives you the added bonus of all that extra storage, which is great. So I'd say it gives you the best of both worlds. It's not blazing speed, but it gives you an absolutely um, fantastic experience with um, a nice large amount of storage for keeping your things on, obviously, when you've run out of SSD space. So yeah, pretty good. Let's move on to the Samsung drive and we'll do the same tests again just to see how we get on with that. All right guys, we're back to the Samsung 840 Pro 500 gig SSD. Let's boot this up and we'll do the same thing again. All right, all right, take two, take two, here we go. So just turn it on. I'm gonna wait for it to... Uh... Oh, guys. Oh, and we have a winner. All right, then, guys. So let's run the AS SSD benchmark again. As you can see, this is the 840 Pro in the list. I'm just going to let my system cool down a little bit, and uh, we'll carry on and do that. Let's go. Start. Oh, straight off the bat. 450 megabytes write speed. Oh, 500 read on the Samsung 840 Pro. Sweet Jesus. Come back when it's finished. Okay guys, and this is the result that it got on its own here. So 806 is the total score. Now the other results from that. Obviously the other SSD couldn't really finish, it just took too long. It took a good half an hour just to get that far, so it wasn't gonna let it finish. Okay. As for opening apps and things like that, let's have a look. So we've got reader, pretty much instant there. Uh, Chrome, let's go to a bit Word, just as fast as the uh, Western Digital was, if not faster. Let's do BBC, instant, as you can see, really, really fast, things like that. All my things are here still, and obviously because it's a clone machine. So, let's recap. Just to my opinion on the two drives, I mean, the Western Digital is a fantastic um, option to go for. It's it's fast and, and reliable. It seems to be pretty um, pretty snappy when you're opening your apps, uh, and it, it, it's super efficient as well. I mean, the, the drive isn't spinning if you don't need to use it, and it will use the SSD because it's two physical drives. When it comes to the Samsung, you've got super fast boot speed, super fast app app speed, and a lot more capacity there. Um, then you come to price point, um, 112 pounds for the Western Digital. I mean that's a lot of money in itself for one tiny little hard drive like this that stores all of your stuff. 
But at the same time, if you compare that to the price of the Samsung 840 Pro, which is a 512 meg drive, meg drive, a 512 gig drive, you're looking at 130 quid difference there, because that's 230 odd pound off the shelf. I mean, then you come to the capacity of the two drives. I mean, the Western Digital is great because you've got a terabyte drive plus 120 gig for your boot for Windows. Now, is that a good thing? Now, yes, it is. But what happens when you run out of space on the 120 gig drive? I mean, do you go ahead and buy another SSD and then just scrap the whole idea of using that boot drive? Or do you move all of your things, and I mean everything, from um, everything you install to um, your music and pictures and videos and documents to the the terabyte hard drive. Then you again, you look at the Samsung and you think it's a 500 gig drive. As a boot drive, that's quite large um, and it would store a lot of stuff, but you still need another terabyte or another 500 gig or something to store all of your data, especially if you've got a large Steam library like I have. So, to sum them both up, um, overall, I'd say they're both very positive drives. I've used the Samsung for a long time and the Samsung looks very good so far from the day we've been using it here. Um, they're great performance drives, really quick and reliable, fast, um, so very positive for both of them. I'll say the one issue with the Western Digital would be the fact that it is uh, limited to 120 gig, and it's it's not particularly easy for somebody to set up for the first time if they haven't done it before. It took us a bit of time to understand it, but now we understand it, it's fine. Um, as the Samsung, uh, fantastic drive, very positive, um, but very expensive. It will last a long time, it's quick, it's for the, the enthusiast uh, and performance. But like I said, you've got to have the money to spend two or three of them to make the capacity um, for what you need on your system. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And sorry for waffling so much because it's Paul's fault. And uh, <laughs> he knows it. <laughs> thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you next time. Take care for now. See ya.